because this is the Isle of Wight Island line. Oh, give up, it's hopeless. It's a silly place, stop now. <laughs> and there's nothing here. <laughs> Want a beer? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. So you've got these old, faded, clunky, bumpy trains visiting stations which have been cut down to one platform at the very, very most. People almost wonder how the hell is it still going? But here it is. It is still here. I've said time and again, this line feels like a heritage line. And I, I, I kind of think that energy should stay. But either way, I am just kind of grateful that it's here. Good morning, people of the internet. Today is November 1st, 2021. The time is 10 to 6 in the morning, and I am on the very first revenue paying active service train from Ride Pier Head to Shanklin on the new Class 484 Island Line train. Welcome to a moment in history. sat here, the new trains hold up their end of the bargain because, yeah, the new, the nice, shiny, well-lit USB charge sockets at almost every seat, which is really neat, Wi-Fi on board, all the mod cons you'd want, really, for a modern train, which is nice. But it's not like it's, it's stopped being an old 
D78 stock District 9 train. The seat configuration is very similar. It has these kind of two facing each other seats, which always reminds me of the Bakerloo line. You see the doors, the sort of gangways, which has a little push button to open. It has like central locking on it now. You press a button and then open the door, go through just as you did before. It all still looks and feels recognizably tube. It's lovely how it feels like a modern refurbished tube train, but it still feels like a tube train, which is weird to say when we're not on the tube. And that's kind of a summary of the island line really, isn't it? It's a lot of things that seem very weird out of context, but as soon as you're actually here, it all makes sense. So far, so good in terms of keeping that old spirit intact while giving the place a lick of paint and some nice new trains. And these are very nice new, old, new old, new trains. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to Wyatt, shall we? Okay, so a slight change of plan, J just a little one. We're back in Ride, just not at the pier. Actually behind me is Ride St John's Road, which is where the depot is for both the old and the new stock. This is as far as we got on the return journey. Yeah, we actually got booted off here. Quite a complicated fiddly story, which involves the first journey down to Shanklin being delayed because of signal faults, because they got damaged, because the weather has been absolutely miserable. I traveled through some horrible weather yesterday to get here and it continued throughout the night. Luckily now, it's rather nice and pleasant, but it hasn't been. So the signals got damaged and amongst all the wind and the rain and the blur. So that delayed the train to Shanklin. And then the train coming back was running late. So they decided it would probably be quicker to get the people that really need to get to the ferry connection in time into a cab. They can shunt that train back to Shanklin and try and get things back on schedule. First day back on the job problems, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna happen, but I was on it. Uh, I can say I was there, oh, which is very nice. It does mean what I can now do is attend to the rather pressing issue. Well, the, the two rather pressing issues. Number one, I've not had any breakfast. Number two, and more concerningly, I've not had a cup of tea. I got up at half past four this morning. It's now just 10 past seven. I haven't had anything to eat, then I haven't had a cup of tea. Don't ask me how I'm functioning. The only main concern right now is I'm off to rectify both of those things. Let's go. John's Road, please mind the gap between the trains. So here's what's happened in my life since the last time I spoke to you uh, very, very earlier this morning. I did indeed go and find uh, a large mug of tea rather lovely breakfast wrap from the uh, from this sort of like bagel cafe on the high street. It was really nice. It turns out that wasn't enough to kind of revive me from my slumber. Now I went back to my hotel room and had a nap for about two and a half hours. I was a zombie this morning. Be lucky I managed to say anything to camera. But I did make it onto the first news service today, which is great. And I'm now on another one of the news services today. In fact, I've got an Island Line Ranger, which gives you unlimited travel on the line all day for £6.60, which is a bargain for me. And what we're going to do now 
is seeing as we've kind of got our first impressions of the new old new stock that's replaced the old new old new stock whatever we've got our impressions on what's changed in terms of the stock what about the line itself because there's a reason this place has been shut down for the best part of 10 months pretty much i mean the old trains retired at the start of the year and then the whole line was closed for a series of improvements which then ended up being delayed further because of that thing that we've been living through for the past 18 months plus some flooding and um, just what you need you know to, to get things done oh and by the way we're currently on the section via Smallbridge Junction on the way to Braining. Infamously, one of the most bumpy sections of the line, especially with the old stock. As you can see, my head's not bouncing off the roof, which is partly because these trains are actually a lot taller than the old ones. And a lot more headroom in here. Also, helpfully, a bit more of a comfortable ride. Do you remember the Sonic the Hedgehog games? I grew up on the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Do you remember those like bounce pads, the like spring pads, they have them like beam? It was like that. It was like sitting on a bounce pad down here. You'd be beow, 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 beow. But, um, yeah, this is all right. But for some, bouncing around and falling out of your chair is kind of a charm of the old trains. Anyway, we're not that far away from Braiding, so let's go. The next station is Braiding. Welcome back everyone to Braiding Station. It says it up there and everything. Now, you remember the last time I was here? It was a nice sunny day and I marvelled at just how quaint and lovely the old architecture of the station was. Well, I'm happy to report that's all still there. But there's also been some exciting redevelopments. What they have done is reopen Platform 2, which is lovely. I remember last time I was here remarking about how the old platform was still there. The passing loop hasn't been in use since 1988, but it was all still there and it was just left in case it was ever needed again. Well, it's needed again. It's back, although not today. Not quite yet. The, the comeback tour is still in the works, but you can see that clearly a lot of municipal work has gone on over on that side. There's some resurfacing of the platform edge. There's new signs. There's a new step-free version of the level crossing to the south of the station. A lot of work's been going into it. It's great to see it come back again. You can see all brand new track work all the way through the station. And it's great to see that the platform will be back in use again. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm about. If you sweep away old structures and platforms and stations and lines and all that you can't exactly bring it back as easily but if you leave it there ready to go again at a point when it's needed then you can do exactly what they've done at braiding this will mean that they can bring back a proper half hourly service in both directions because the trains will actually be able to pass each other so we able to stop at both platforms here rather than just here it's nice it's an actual upgrade and it's bringing something back i'm too used to seeing stations that used to have so many platforms and services and facilities and whatever Kind of reduced to nothing. This is a nice example of one that's laid dormant and now it's reviving again. It's expanding again. Braiding was already my favourite station on the line. That continues now. Good job. Anyway, sand downs that way. Let's keep going. So welcome back to Sandown Station. What's changed here? Well, what happened at Braiding is that where they installed new track through the station, I think they lowered the height of the track. But here at Sandown, like many stops on the line, this has the new higher platforms where you've got that layer of like a sort of metal cage with the material of the platform over the top. The original platforms are all still in place. You've just got these platforms on top of platforms to make it for a uh, step-free access onto the trains and that. And you've got, you know, steps onto it as well as ramps for wheelchair use and everything, which is good, it's all good. Now the other thing is, behind me, behind this fence, is the former bay platform for the branch from Sandown to Newport. It's mostly being used as storage lines, a lot of spare sleepers and everything, and something rather special in the old bay platform. We've been talking about the new units all day, 
one of the old ones is just behind me. It's currently looking a bit shabby and a bit sorry for itself, hiding under some tarpaulin right now. Maybe it's waiting to be moved somewhere. Maybe it has a buyer, it has a new home, it hasn't been moved yet. It's had to be stored because of that thing we've been living through for the past 18 months or more. But either way, it's looking a bit sorry for itself at the moment. It's just having a sleep under some blankets. Hopefully, it has a happier new home soon. Meantime, I'm going to take cover from the rain. Let's complete the final leg of our journey to Shanklin. Okay, so welcome to Lake Station. And uh, moving on. <clears throat> Alright, so we're at Shanklin Station, and by we, I don't mean we. Hello again. Rich is back! <laughs> we decided to uh, bring you back for the final part of the trilogy, because mm -hmm. I know, you, you're, you're basically our island expert at this point. Yeah, yeah, I've lived here many of my many years, yes. Many of many <laughs> years, yes. We decided to bring the trilogy full circle by bringing you back. Um, I mean, it's not really a circle, is it? It's more of a straight line. That's a good point, actually. I mean, look at Lord of the Rings. They didn't actually get to Mordor and say, Nah, I'm taking a scenic route. We just kind of went back as soon as possible, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> but yeah, we're back at Shanklin. Well, I'm back at Shanklin. Uh, funnily enough, of all the stations on the line, this has changed the least. Yes, basically, new tracks and that's it. <laughs> okay, so there are new tracks through. I think so. Which would make sense because the platforms have not been raised in height here. Yeah, fair uh, enough. Now, braiding is the same story and they had new tracks through there. So I speculate that if they've bought new tracks in, they've lowered the height of them. But it is nice to have it, I've got to admit, after like, I'm 31 now, so 29 of my 31 years, literally being on tiny trains that rattle your bones, you can't even hear your headphones over it in the busiest part. <laughs> I am looking forward to actually having a relaxing journey to ride. It's funny, because the new trains are more smooth. You can still feel the bumps, but they're not as violent. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Less violent trains. I like not being <laughs> victimized by trains. Trains that don't <laughs> punch you when you die. <laughs> Probably better, you know? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've timed this quite well. The weather has held all day, mm -hmm. until now, where it really hasn't. Yes, until I walked to meet you. <laughs> Very sorry. That's all right. I didn't have a metal... <laughs> I didn't check the forecast. I should have checked the forecast. <laughs> Fair. Anyway, we're here at uh, Shanklin. We're going to wait for it to dry out and then have a look round. Yeah, I think some, so. Some local cuisine, maybe. We'll decide what we're going to do. <laughs> yes, it, it may be dictated by the weather somewhat. I mean, I was thinking seafront bars, there are some nice ones, but given this, maybe the original ride plan might be better. <laughs> also, you might be on the train after all. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Plot twist. Tune in next time on AJZ. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the situation. We got rained on a lot in Shanklin, like a lot, a lot. Like my shoes are still soaked, levels of a lot. But that's okay because we had our train back to ride that we were gonna get, except that got canceled. Everywhere south of Ride St. John's Road, uh, the, the trains stopped running because of a nine side fire. It's been quite the cursed first day for the new online trains. Oh my God. So we ended up waiting around in cold quite a while for a coach, a replacement coach service. Rich decided, sod it, I'm going home. And I don't blame him for that, to be honest, given that there is still the shuttle running between St. John's Road 
and the pier head, when the coach got to Wright St. John's Road, I thought, you know what? This might well truly work out full circle. Because you remember this morning, on the very first service of the day, when we came back from Shanklin, the train terminated at Wright St. John's Road. We never went back to the pier head, and now I've gone back to St. John's Road to go to the pier head. It's like I'm getting to complete the journey that I never got to this morning. <sighs> One more time with feeling. Let's do it to it. And we enjoy this.